Hello there guys, um, today myself and James um, just decided to take a little trip out to Cambridge because besides ghost hunting we've both got another sort of hobby and interest and that's just sort of interesting places really, sometimes abandoned, sometimes yeah. you know, well just anywhere interesting really so we thought we'd take a trip out, go to a few places today. Yes, yeah, so we're in North Road Cemetery at the moment which is well, you probably know more about it than me. It's just a big, massive cemetery, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. It's supposed to be haunted, allegedly. It's got a proper spooky atmosphere. It is, yeah. Even in the day, when I've come down here in the day and just been on your own, because, like, how big it is, sometimes you just get sort of, like, isolated in different parts of it. Yeah. We're sort of... I like it because it's, like, half of it's kind of derelict, half of it's maintained. It's just sort of weird, really. I like that. A knight's grave. Yeah, I want one like that. There's a few of these that say sacred on. I've never seen that before on no, that graves. Either. That one over there as well. Never ever seen that. Is that like a gravestone brand? That's what, you know, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> like Nike gravestone. There is a little copyright logo right <laughs> next to it if you look carefully. Champion president of Queen's College. He fell asleep. He didn't die. He just fell asleep. He fell asleep and then they popped him in there. Also of her brother. I wonder if like, when the people here sort of getting buried, if they knew that now their graves were going to be just like in the middle of there. And you can't yeah, so that's the thing that always like, I find weird with kind of that graveyards. It's like, it's like, who was the last person to come and tend to one of the graves? Mm. Because like, obviously there's loads here that have just been left for years and years. Oh, it's well creepy, right? Imagine that Not night, Robin on the top. A little bit of light. No, it's gone. It's yeah, but like, is there anyone alive today that knew anyone? Well, there probably isn't, actually. Old people, like really old people. Yeah, a lot of these are 18, 1900, aren't they? <laughs> Ghosts. Yeah, no, it's just like, I always think that at graveyards, like, who was the last person to come and tend to a certain grave? Yeah, yeah. I, I, there must be, like, some of them, they just get put here and that's it. Yeah. Well, they're pretty big graves, though, aren't they? They're, most of these are pretty well-off people, I'd have thought. Hmm, I can't even read that one. But it's like, when you, when you see ones like this, but yeah, like you said, that must be well off. Like yeah. that looks like it was someone pretty important yeah. to get one like that, rather than just a little round one. No, it's definitely one of the most interesting graveyards I've been to. It's, one, it's absolutely massive. Two, it's just so many graves here, and each of them are completely different. Loads of different stonework and all of them. It's quite interesting, really. It almost reminds me of like a massive American cemetery, mm. if you know the type I mean. Yeah, yeah. So we've finished at Milrose Cemetery now, and we've just come to another place which is supposedly haunted, and that is most the haunted, most haunted building in Cambridge, apparently. And that's Wikipedia, which very rarely mention hauntings. And my book. And the book, which <laughs> this is a good read from that's the two pages I've read. Get it so we can compare the picture of the book. But now this is the Abbey House. Apparently, like I say, is is supposed to be haunted. Yeah, this is most. Okay. That's the one. So yeah, we're literally working through this book and just going to... Deserves the title of the most haunted house in Cambridge. Built as a country mansion with stone from Barrel Priory, stood for site before the dissolution. 1539? Oh, isn't it? Yeah, we were thinking maybe it was kind of an open house, but it looks pretty lived in to me. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Yeah. It says, um... Like the Buddhist foundation or someone bought it. And then they just uh, had it as like an open site. Like a museum or something. That's what I was thinking it'd be open, but it's no, it's well lived in, isn't it? Excuse me, can we have a look around your house or go? Yes. They've got my car as well, look at that. <laughs> Unless it is just like another You wouldn't know that, would you, just walking past it? It just looks like an old building. Man, I thought we'd get in. That's so weird though, was it 15... 
fifteen something. Check the video. 50, yeah, fifteen something, and like it's just sitting right. What is that? That must be something to do with the Abbey then. That looks well old. It's got a sign up front. That looks early medieval. Oh, I thought there was. I thought there was like a church there. Uh, to me, I reckon it was a chapel and they've converted it into a barn or something. Oh, they said in the book, I think it's in the book, they took the stones from that to build that. Barnwell Priory. Oh man, look at that. How did you get here? I bet you can't. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Augustine. Months. Yeah, 12th, yeah, early medieval then, or mid medieval. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Stone coffin. Or I bet, yeah, that. It's just the fact these pictures look so bad, it makes it look so much creepier. <laughs> like Polaroids. So, we are just going for another little stroll around and we found this church, which is pretty derelict and abandoned, really. No other way to describe it. It's really weird. I thought. I saw, I saw someone outside the front of her earlier on, so I thought someone was like locking it up. It's completely derelict. And it's like right in the centre of Cambridge. Ooh. No way. No. Goes to underneath it. Underneath it, in the cellar. There's a little door down there. It's open. I know what to do. Infrared for the camera in. You have to check these photos later. It's such a weird place. That is really weird, man. That, that's made the little man on the front door even creepier. Oh, you that can see where all these windows have been completely smashed. Some are boarded up, some aren't. Oh, Wait, well, yeah, it's <laughs> very... Got that in, yeah? Oh, is that open? It's open. But they can see his nails in it. Ah. Uh. Do you know what's weird? There hasn't been a single sign anywhere around here saying no entry. No, that's what I mean. I, I, well, that's there's a fence there, there, but... Yeah, but like, that's yeah. around the back. That's what we, we, we both thought it was actually open when we came here. We thought it was just like, we was actually expecting to get inside, yeah. have a look around inside, but it's completely derelict. I like to get inside as in ask, <laughs> ask to see if you can. Well, I thought it'd be open. <laughs> but it's like not even a, a, a board or anything that says like contact so and so for the church keys or anything like that, is there? It's just completely, I don't know, odd. Creep myself out a bit there, but well, what if suddenly a homeless man pops his head around the corner? Well, there's definitely, we haven't actually shown this bit on camera yet, but there's definitely oh, yeah. activity of someone probably living here. Because if you come round, sort of to the... Yeah, if you come round to the back bit here you've obviously got shopping trolley full of stuff etchings on the wall so obviously someone has been that's so weird I just can't believe it yeah. like how obscure it is pants mmm just go mmm yeah <laughs> it was supposed to be an mmm in disgust at the pants but it came out as more of an enjoyable one Disgust at the pant. Yeah, this is the front though. Like I said, there's not a plaque or anything. Film the little man. Right? Oh yeah, he's good. Our little mate. Saint Andrew. Who it is? It's weird because there's not even a like a door handle. No, it's not a proper it's door. It must be the back one. I wonder if we could get into one. In where? Like if we contact. Oh, I reckon we. Yeah, but that's the weird thing. There's not even a thing saying who owns it. Google. Yeah, we'll Google it. They'll know. So, I've just come to the next place we're visiting today, which is the Cambridge Leper Chapel, which 
we have done a little investigation at. Um, but yeah, this was basically the chapel um, when there was a leper colony around here, which I believe the actual rest of the buildings were out in the field out the back. But yeah, this is the only bit that's still here is the chapel. I remember it being bigger last time. It was a night you couldn't see all of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do ghost stories here. Um, there's one on Saturday actually. Yeah. They do various different ghost stories and theatrical performances around here. If anybody is interested. 3rd of June. Yeah, we'll be out investigating, fingers crossed, at an old RAF watchtower. Um, this coming Saturday, so yeah, this is the Leopard Chapel. <clears throat> now, apparently, there is a lot of legends around here about ghost sightings and, and stuff like that. Like, so, being a, a Leopard Chapel where you know the hospital nearby it makes a lot of sense for this to be some kind of haunting, but yeah, we didn't pick up on anything really other than some EMF, anom blah, 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 blah. EMF anomalies around the back, which we still don't know what they are. And if I was clever enough and bought the right EMF meters along today, we could have worked it out, but I didn't. That is weird, actually. It's the thing, like, how long... <laughs> how many years this has been here? Yeah. And the earliest of graffiti we can find, the ancient graffiti is from 2014. Well, I think there is little... There's other bits. HP. But they've, I think they've worn off. Maybe there was other writing. I don't know when this was bricked up, though. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, the bricks are quite old. Yeah. Hello there, guys. Um, we've come to the last place we're going to be visiting today, which is um, at the abandoned Uplands Hotel, um, which we're actually filming an episode here for Series 5. Um, so you'll see all the investigation and all of that later on in the year. But um, me and James said, although like we try and represent a location as best we can when we film an episode, it's not exactly the same as sort of seeing it from a first point of first person point of view, which I just kinda of wanted to show you today. It's just sort of walking around the place with a camera, just so you can kinda of get a feel for the place. A little bit of a vibe. But um if we come this way, you can see the main sort of, well, the main building, which was the main hotel. It's in complete ruins at the moment. There it is. But funnily enough, on well, when we filmed here, we've not actually got any activity in that bit, have we? No, not really. It's just started raining as well. Yeah, typical. <laughs> but yeah, it was a big old place once upon a time. inside It's dark in there, isn't it? Oh, James, this phone here before. What? It's 
so we never know. That was me. You heard that. Don't bear with me. What was that then? This is all new. Actually, it looks like there's more like dirt falling down. Yeah, but that's the thing though. Has has someone deliberately like trashed it, or is it just fallen down out of just natural causes? But how would it fall down and get over there? Oh no, that someone's obviously brought in. This looks like... But there it's like, so I don't know whether it's fallen down or whether it's um, someone's actually put it there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you hear that? Big thud? Yeah. Yeah. Is that upstairs? Don't know where that was. Oh, I think it's over in a field where they've got the things to scare the birds off. <laughs> Is Bath up there. Fireplace. That that's definitely that's a field. Just heard that. Yeah, you can hear it better out here. Man, that's spooky. Oh yeah, do you remember the uh, <laughs> the pantry? <laughs> So I love the windows. Mm. You come in the cupboard. It's well hot in there actually. There's that other little room back there. Where did Sophie see me from? You were through there somewhere. Oh she looked through, yeah. Covered under the stairs. It's like a oh, wow. pantry. Oh fuck! James is the... I just tripled everywhere. James was the other side of the window. James, do it again. <laughs> so we're just on our way now to another building that's literally right at the back of the main mansion. It's kind of like a bank house kind of thing, it's weird. I don't actually know what it was used for, but I'm guessing it was either lived in or used as part of the hotel. And it's in there, we've actually caught quite a bit of activity. Um, as you'll see on the episode, when that comes out, we've heard all, lo loads of EVP, heard lady talking in there, quite a lot of weird stuff, so. As I was saying that, I thought I heard <laughs> Yeah, this is it. That creeped me out. I thought it was like something with big black eye. <laughs> Look down the back. Oh, right. I see what you're in. There's a big cartoon case. That. <laughs> Into the house, really. Dark. Yeah, this bit looks like where there was bay windows at some 
Not bay windows. Are they bay windows? Whatever that, that is. Yeah, that's bay windows. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that. There's little pattern things up there on the wall as well. Is that a doorway or a big window? That's, a, that's to the floor, I think. Oh. That looks like a window frame from there. This must have been quite recent. Because it smashed the um, fence. Mind you, even standing here now, it actually looks like quite an impressive building. It's a lot bigger than you, you think from the other side of it. Yeah, the something. other side it looks like a bungalow, but around here it actually looks like quite a nice house. Because you can't see any of the top either on the other side. No. Compared to the actual hotel, it's like it's still not posh. I wouldn't have said, but it's it's a nice house. But the look of it. Yeah. It's so cold, man, as well. Like it's feeling. It's, it's a warm, hot day today as well. Yeah, it's really cool in here. Like, yeah, like, like you, whatever, like your back or whatever is like. Chingling. Well, it has. I know it hasn't seen the sun in there before. It's plain. Yeah. It's that demon. Well, I know it hasn't seen the sun all day, but it's still humid out. But it doesn't even feel humid in here, does it? I think I'm gonna get some some flash photos in there, actually as well. Yeah, if you get them while you still got battery in that, because I can do video on this. Yeah, this is like horror film stuff. Well airy man. Whoa. It just went like Yeah, there's huge def wave definitely a field in this room. I'm getting all sorts of creepy vibes. <laughs> Considering it's humid out, isn't it? That's the thing. It's not like we've been stood in the sun all day. It's just really humid. As soon as we walked in, man, I got like the like arm goosebumps and everything. What was that? You just saw that as well? Yeah. It's like a big white ball just went. Yeah. There. Yeah. No, I, I, thought that was, just, no, I thought that was my sunglasses, so I was going No, 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 I saw it as well. I, I weren't really... I didn't think anything of it, but I'm glad you saw it as well. I thought... No, because no, it went your... It was like that. I saw it go into your shadow. That was weird. If you're here, that box I've put on the floor that's making that terrible racket, <laughs> would you be able to go over to it, please? and try and move around it, touch it, or do whatever you can to make that needle move. Try as hard as you can. That will let us know that you're here. What setting is that on the moon? Uh, mag magnetic and electric. It looked like... On the, uh... You just heard that? I can't see anything in this camera. That was loud. That was so loud, man. But someone just hit a wall. Yeah. 
It definitely wasn't the gun found this time. No, no, that was in here. It wouldn't have got all the way to the building as we were doing that. Sounded like it was inside the building. Well, yeah, thanks for watching anyway. Um, that's the end of our trip out. Hope it's been insightful and intellectual and that you've all enjoyed it. But yeah, take care. Goodbye. Bye.